Welcome to our Ministry Minute for Wednesday, June 24th, 2020. This is First Baptist Church of Clay Center and I'm Pastor Matthew Coleman. Today, we're continuing our exploration of Proverb 6, starting at verse 16, which says, These six things the Lord hates, yes, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift and running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among brethren. We've looked at a couple of them already, and today we begin really with the hands that shed innocent blood. And as we think about this, you know, it's obvious to us that those that kill or shed the blood of innocent uh, individuals, God uh, obviously would not be happy with that. And we as a society, as, as individuals, we also are not um, pleased by that. But I want to stop for just a moment to realize uh, the truth that in this we see really a reminder, as I read it, a reminder of Jesus Christ who lived a perfect, sinless life, and yet his blood was shed at our hands, each of us individually, because he had to lay his life down. He had to shed his blood in order that our sin might be forgiven. So it's easy for us very quickly to jump over this portion of this passage of scripture and say, yeah, yeah, I get it. God doesn't like when innocent people are killed. And that is true. But let us stop for just a second and reflect on the reality that Jesus Christ himself was an innocent and his blood was shed. And the hands that were responsible for that, for that yeah, we, we look and say, oh, it was the governmental leaders, oh, it was the religious leaders at the time. But no, truly, the individual that was responsible for the shedding of Jesus' blood is me. It is you. It is each and every one of us. And today, just as we stop and reflect about that, take some time and realize what it is that the choices that we have made in our lives, what the consequence of those choices really is and was. And then also, we can reflect on the great truth of God's grace that the consequences of what Christ has done, that he willingly allowed himself to go to the cross. He willingly shed his blood. He allowed himself to be beaten for us in order that we could experience not the hate of God, not to be seen as detestable or an abomination, but to be seen through the eyes of love by God the Father as a result of what Christ has done, as a result of the Holy Spirit's work in our lives. So today, just take a moment and reflect on that truth because it is amazing. It is God's true grace and love, His mercy and compassion. And though we do bear shame and we, we do feel guilt over what we have caused, God says, no, set that aside and now celebrate and boldly come before the throne and enjoy a relationship with me. Today, take some time to celebrate that on this wonderful day. Thank you for taking the time. We look forward to seeing you again real soon. God bless you, and God bless your family.
sing.